I came about obtaining it through the Barclay Enthusiast Club. It was owned by a club member and it was in a pretty terrible state and I bought it for £150. That was in um, prior to 1998 anyway. I've done everything on the uh, car with the exception of the upholstery. I've totally stripped the car down to the bare shell and um, uh, I had to take the rear section of the body off to get to the steelwork inside to uh, replace some of the steelwork which had corroded away. Um, but I, I did literally everything else apart from the upholstery as I said including all the mechanicals and the engine um, and it took me probably about 11 years total and um, it went on the road I suppose about 2006 it first went on the road What we have here is a Royal Enfield motorcycle engine. It's a twin 700cc and uh, it has uh, an Albion gearbox which is special to Barclay because it has a reverse idle pinion in the gearbox. Um, it has a special Barclay primary chain case uh, which houses a, a flywheel with a starter ring gear for starting purposes and which is started the engine started by a Lucas starter motor and the charging side is, is a Lucas dynamo which is belt driven from the crankshaft from the gearbox uh, you have um, a front wheel drive system which is via a, a chain driven differential uh, with Hardy Spicer drive shafts and a duplex chain drive. Um, the uh, fuel system is via a tank in the rear of the car and the electric fuel pump sighted here sucks the fuel up from the rear to feed the Amel carburetor which is a standard type of motorcycle carburetor use for, for these type of engines. What's it like to drive? Wonderful. It's not, it's not the smoothest of cars to drive. Um, the Royal Enfield engine is renowned for its um, vibration problems. Um, but having said that, it's great fun to drive. And um, it's got a crash gearbox. It's four forward and one reverse. So you have to double the clutch uh, going down the gearbox. But going up the gearbox, you can uh, just normally put it into gears, no problem. <laughs> 